Apple TV OS 18 came out yesterday officially to the general public, meaning that if you have a supported device, you could update to it. It has a bunch of new features and changes that I've covered right here on the channel. If you haven't seen that video, you can find it on top here or in the description. But in this video, I'm here to talk about another version of tvOS 18, which is the first point update of tvOS 18. Going into the settings and going all the way to system, you can see when it comes to software update right here, we have a new update that's available for tvOS and this is 18.1 with a new build number that is 22J5543E. And you can see the official build of tvOS 18 that I'm coming from 22J357. So we'll quickly go ahead and begin downloading this update so that we see what's new. Just to keep you in the loop of other operating systems that came out alongside our tvOS 18.1 beta update, you can see today on September 17, we got Vision OS 2.1 beta. We also got Watch OS 11.1 beta. We got tvOS 18.1 beta, of course. This is the video for that. We have Mac OS 15.1 beta 4, iPad OS and iOS 18.1 beta 4. Most of these updates that you see here, I do cover on the channel here at Half Men Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date and stay in the know of the new features and changes, you know what to do, hit the like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. My device has now been updated to the latest tvOS 18.1 update. And if we go into the settings right here, just to confirm the new build number, you can see the software update page has been updated. If we check for an update, it's up to date on tvOS 18.1 with the 43E build. And one of the new things that I realized that's new with this update is if you go in our top row section right here to an application that has information that you can swipe up to be able to see like the Apple Music or the work fitness application or even the Apple TV is that the animation seems more smooth. So you can see when I go back and then when I swipe up, looks much more better and it has this cool animation that has been sort of improved in terms of motion but that's something that's very minor apple has acknowledged with this update if we go to our screensaver tab right here this memories and slideshow screensaver might not reflect availability accurately in screensaver settings or the switcher that you are seeing right now so apple has acknowledged that this is a known issue and they are working towards fixing it and at the same time if we go to our next screensaver which is the portraits apple has also acknowledged that this screensaver might not reflect the availability of photos that have the ability to use this portrait feature accurately which is something that eventually we'll see get fixed you can see in this case mine says processing your photos for this screensaver check back later even though I might have pictures that are qualified to be here. So these two are having issues and Apple has acknowledged that they need to be attended to and hopefully we'll get to see them fixed in a later beta of tvOS 18.1. Now on a sad note though, you can see when it comes to the new features and changes that this software has to offer, there actually isn't much because we are still missing the Apple TV original based screensaver that we were promised. So this is just about all we get and at the same time there is no Snoopy screensaver that has been inputted or is in the code of tvOS 18.1. So at this point in time we are still waiting for those two and even when you go to the settings and not just the switch or the screensaver switcher you can go to where it says screensaver and you only see screensaver preferences where you have aerials memories and slideshow as well as portraits and those are the same ones that you see when you go back to this screen so they haven't been bought here this is the snoopy watch face that we got if I believe this was came out last year on watchOS 10 and it's dynamic in the sense that it responds to different things or events that you have in your calendar or it can respond to the weather or activities that you might have on your reminders and this is maybe one of the reasons why tvOS 18 is delaying in bringing this Snoopy watch face because you know 
not only is he funny but he's also adaptive to the different settings that you might have so the snoopy screensaver is one that has been heavily requested when it comes to tvOS 18 and in this case tvOS 18.1 with this update if we go into the settings right here and go to where it says video and audio I haven't seen anything or under the release notes and the research that I found I haven't been able to find the 21 by 9 projector support being mentioned anyway and at the same time I haven't seen any HDMI audio pass through so my connection is good I did a recheck and at the same time I went through most of the HDMI outputs and the release notes of this update there is no HDMI audio pass through at this point in time so it seems like if we don't get it on tvOS 18.1 these couple of betas that we are about to have it might be a feature that's delayed until tvOS 18.2 also another feature that might be delayed although I don't have the means to test for it and I haven't seen anyone mention it is the robot vacuum cleaner support in the home app which we haven't seen on the Apple TV yet so that could be a feature that's going to be delayed and at the same time if you just look at the release notes of this tvOS 18.1 beta Apple didn't actually tell us much they just mentioned to update your apps to the latest versions even if you are on tvOS 18.0 it's good to check for an update and when you go to tvOS 18.1 it's good to update your application so that you use the latest features and they become more compatible with the OS version that you are on and at the same time you can see here they just tell us about the SDK and there's a few screensaver known issues that I've already highlighted and there's a fixed issue when it comes our resolved issue rather when it comes to store kit in Xcode and some Swift UI resolved issues that pertain to tvOS 18.0 so they haven't really talked Told us much when it comes to this update and it seems like it's at this point in time is just an incremental but keep in mind that the build that we have here is an E so we do or we are going to be seeing more betas that are going to be coming for this tvOS update let me know which is the main feature that you are excited to see come to the Apple TV that's been delayed so at, the, at this point in time we haven't seen the 21 by 9 we haven't seen the robot vacuum support some Apple TV original screensavers aren't actually here and the heavily requested Snoopy screensaver isn't here yet so those are just some of the main ones and people are also pushing for the HDMI pass through let me know which one you are waiting for you can see in here under what's new they mentioned the portrait screensavers but there is no mention of the Snoopy or the Apple TV original show so few things are still missing maybe we might see them within the next coming betas or the tvOS 18.2 beta at this point in time it's hard to tell but yeah let me know which one you are waiting for and which one you would like us to push for as a community and that's about it for me my name is Ben and I'll see you in the next video peace